in this example, basically, this is the same thing as g of f of x. It's the same thing. It's just a different way of writing it. You need to know, make sure you guys know both notations. Okay. Middle of my video. I'm checking off a summer packet. Do you have your assignment organizer? No. Well, how am I, what am I supposed to check it off of if you don't have your assignment organizer? There you go. It's checked off. You'll have to show it to me next time when you have your assignment organizer, OK? Yep. All right. And next time, bring in Burger King for me. So if you have g of f of x, all right, um, so now. We're plugging in f of x. So here's my f of x. I'm going to plug that in for x in my g of x function. I'm not going to use color code this time. Does everybody follow? Now, I don't really need parentheses. Well, let's just simplify it. I don't really need parentheses. I can just combine these. Square root of x squared minus 1. Right? Now, they're asking us for the domain or to evaluate. I don't remember. Domain. So if you look at the domain here, what is it the only thing we can't have? x always has to be greater than or equal to? Zero. Zero. Well, what happens? One, if you do 1, 1 squared is? 1. 1 minus 1 is? Zero. 0. What about 0? Can it be 0? Yeah. Well, if you do 0 squared, you get 0. 0 minus 1 is negative 1. So it can't be 0, right? Um, well, well, hold on. Well, think about it, though, too. It can't be 0. And what about 1 half? What about a fraction like 1 half? Think about 1 half. 1 half mi times 1 half would be 1 fourth. 1 fourth minus 1 would be negative 3 fourths. You can't take the square root of it, right? So it has to be all numbers that are greater than 1. And if you guys did this, same thing. If you guys did x squared minus 1, it has to be greater than or equal to 0. Add 1, add 1. x squared greater than or equal to 1. Square root, square root. x has to be greater than or equal to 1. Right? You don't need to include your plus or minus because we know. Um, oh, I'm sorry. OK, so it's plus or minus or negative 1 because guess what? Negative numbers work as well. Right? Don't you guys agree with me? Because basically, remember, you do your plus or minus, and the negative would be. This kind of gets a little bit too confusing with this. Um, but you have your plus or minus, And then when you make the minus, it's x is less than or equal to negative 1. Kind of gets a little bit confusing. But let's just try to think about this rationally for you. We know that all numbers from 1 to infinity will be true for this. All numbers less than negative 1 to infinity will work, right? Mr. McLogan? Yes. We have Sierra Cook to check out, please. Okay. So the only thing we know is that the values basically between negative one and between negative one and positive one are not do not work. Would everybody agree with me? So basically, um, so I'd have negative infinity to negative one union one to infinity. Because the values between, no homework, you'll get the baseline next time. Oh. I'll give it to you. So now the values between negative 1 and 1 do not work. Does that kind of make sense? Kind of? Well, just think about it. I mean, just pick numbers. I could show you guys more on this mathematical way, but I just want you to logically think. We know we can't take the square root of any number of a negative number, right? So. If you plug negative 4, negative 4 squared is 16. 16 minus, five, 16 minus 1 is 15. That's good. That's fine. You could take the square root of 15. 0, you can't take the square root of 0. right? Negative 1, you can't take the square root of negative 1. Positive 1, oh, I'm sorry. If you take the square root of negative 1, you get negative 1 squared, which is 1. 1 minus 1 um, is 0. Actually, I'm sorry, those are contained. Sorry about that. And 1 is contained. Sorry. You can use 1 and negative 1. Right? Yes? But you can't use all the numbers between negative 1 and 1, such as like negative 1 half, or 1 half, or 0. Do you guys agree with me? Because if you plugged in those fractions, 
they would make that negative. And try it. Try doing negative 0.5 squared and then subtract 1. It makes it a negative number under the radical. So it doesn't work. Okay. Um, 